been out today. So I think that truck will hold the rest of this. Uh, the soybean bin is cleaned out it's not quite a truckload about uh, 450 bushels is my guess okay let me get everything cleaned up here and shut down yep about 450 bushels hey it may finally be dry enough to get in the field and do some work I am up here at my local fertilizer dealer getting some fertilizer to put on my soybean field we are getting uh, what am I getting 16 ton came up yesterday and got the spreader with uh, four ton on that 
I already spread four ton, I think it was last week before all this rain came in. So this 16 ton here should uh, spread all of my, the rest of my soybean ground that I've got left to spread. And then let's hope we can get in the field tomorrow and uh, do some planting of soybeans. I do have a boat to move tomorrow morning first thing. But I'm hoping to get this fertilizer spread uh, this afternoon, move the boat in the morning, and then uh, get in the field uh, tomorrow afternoon and plant some soybeans. Though we do have another chance of rain uh, actually the whole weekend. This is Memorial Day weekend coming up. This is Wednesday morning. Uh, so Thursday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, a chance of rain. I think it's just storms. But then Friday is actually rain not just a chance of storms and then i think all weekend saturday sunday monday chance of rain or storms or something hey i'm not the only one with problems uh on their uh conveyor belt there that they move the fertilizer into the um building they're replacing some bearings They've got the first pile on there. Uh, they're doing two eight ton batches. So the first eight ton is on the truck and uh, uh, mixing up the second batch now. That's how I load it, so let's go spread it.
do. Oh man, that would have been, uh, no, I would have missed this one, but yep, it was sticking up in the perfect position to take a tire out. Uh, let's see, do you see the other one around here anywhere? Nope, sure don't. That's not as big as the one I showed you last month. Glad you were paying attention and saw that. Some things I do stage for the camera, but that deer antler, I didn't stage that. I just had the camera on, just showing you the GPS and how fast I was going and just happened to look up and uh yep there was the antler but yeah some things you just have to stage for the camera to make for some interesting video i don't do it too often but that deer antler was not staged okay i don't see the other one in this field and uh i am finished with this field on to the next one disengages the chain so the drag chain stops turning so I can move to the next field. All right, don't drop the rope. All right, let's engage the chain. Engage the spinners with the PTO control here. got the last buggy full on there I ran out of time it's gonna be dark before I get that spread so I'll just spread it in the morning be after after I move boats so it's time for a cold shower a hot meal and an adult beverage so I'm gonna say see ya, see ya.